See guys, I'm tired, I can't even lie. Sorry, I forgot to I forgot to start by greeting you guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ah I don't even have the morale or the energy to do this greeting thing because I'm actually tired. YouTube is hard. I feel like people do not talk about how hard YouTube is enough, especially as a small YouTuber. <sighs> so I woke up this morning and I checked my my watch hours and I noticed that my watch hours had dropped by eight hours. Like if you are a new YouTuber, <laughs> you would know what the struggle is like to to get your watch time high it's ugh. i'm actually like really frustrated and i don't even think i can explain how frustrated or how how demoralizing this is that you do your best to put out videos consistently you try to promote your videos and you see that your watch hours are reducing let's not even talk about how sometimes like you put all the effort to make this video and edit it and how long editing takes especially especially when you have to make out time from your full-time job to do this and you do all these things and you post your video and you come back the next day <laughs> and you see 10 views <laughs> I want to cry <laughs> okay but really like I'm not even exaggerating why didn't you guys tell me that this was how hard it is? Why do you guys go, oh, it's be so easy, start your YouTube channel today, blah, 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 you can make money, but oh my God, like, <laughs> anyway, anyway, if you are an aspiring YouTuber, if you are, if you've been thinking about starting your YouTube channel and you're not a popular person, like I feel like there are ways to become popular or to blow on YouTube in quotes, right? The first one is to already be some kind of celebrity, have like a huge following on social media so that when you start your channel, you just bring them. It's like you're bringing, um, it's like people are following you to another platform. So you have these people already. It helps, it's easier. So you see that celebrities and people who have been in reality shows or people who have been like in the public eyes, maybe they start their channel first day, they are doing like 100K, 200K and people are just following them. Must be nice, must be really, really nice. For some people, like for some of us, you know, this is how we are starting. It's not like they know us any other place. We are just, you know, doing this thing and it's so frustrating. <laughs> it's so frustrating going from zero to 10 and then going from 10 to 50 and then 50 to 100. Then, hmm, guys, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I think the only reason why I would continue doing YouTube is because I actually do enjoy it. But even what you enjoy can frustrate you, can seriously frustrate you. I think that what you know broke the camel's back was waking up this morning and seeing that I had lost eight hours. I was like, what? How? Where? Why? What happened? Like, okay, okay. This is supposed to be a rant video, but I've even I, I don't even have like I don't even have the energy, I don't have the will, I don't have the strength to turn it into a rant because I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired and frustrated, really, guys. I don't know if anybody else can relate to what I'm saying. For some people, you are I don't know. Some people difficult things excite them and they love a good challenge and they wouldn't see this as a big deal but it is so hard for me i feel like i've said youtube is hard a hundred times in this video but really youtube is hard they don't tell you that they don't tell you that you have to you know up your editing skills like it's not just about youtube right it's not about uploading video it's about you know knowing how to film knowing how to film engaging content and then knowing how to edit this content to be even more engaging and knowing how to 
what they call it color grade this content which i don't do by the way but yeah it's very important because when i see color graded videos like i know and it's like really appealing to the eyes and then after that knowing how to design your your thumbnails and there are like a million and one videos that will tell you you know your thumbnail is very important it's very important because that's the first thing people will see blah 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 so the pressure is there oh how can i make this thumbnail you know appeal to people what do i do how do i put it what do i what color do i use what picture do i use <sighs> oh my god and let me actually tell you guys that that's the worst part for me she sees design i hate everything design and every time i have to come up with a thumbnail ha huh, i'm just sad i've told my my i told my friend remy that she has to teach me how to make thumbnails because it's exhausting thinking about what to do is exhausting and then they say these things that like, your thumbnail matters your thumbnail matters your thumbnail your thumb your thumbnail matters right and sometimes people who are even preaching this gospel eh, it's not even that their own thumbnails are fine god forgive me but so it's a thumbnail and you're looking at a person's thumbnail and you're like i definitely will probably not click this on a normal day do you guess and there are people who do even try hard like all they need is their face like sometimes they don't even try to design anything they just take a picture and they put it in front and they are getting the views so is this a lie is this purple that they are feeling to us the thumbnails really matter ah <sighs> see i'm tired of ranting because i don't even know what to say again but anyway guys i have decided that i am going to i'm just going to do me right I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to make videos that I want to make. I'm just going to upload whenever I want to upload. I'm just going to see YouTube as, you know, my personal diary because I realized that I like to talk about these things. For some people, they like to write the things. They like to write what comes to their mind. But for me, I like to talk about what comes to my mind, which is why I started a podcast, which is why I started this YouTube channel. And... <laughs> It, it the truth is that it, it was never about the money for me at least in the beginning it was never about the money for me right but then you get into the world of youtube and then you see people telling you about how they are making like tons of money and how you can make money too and say here is why your channel or here is why your video is not getting views or here is why your videos is not getting a subscriber or oh, here is why here is why here is why okay i got it <laughs> thank you but the pressure is too much the pressure is too much you keep checking analytics uh okay this video is what people are watching even though maybe the video that people are really interested in is, is one misread video that is not even really what you know you like to talk about but like one day you talk about that thing and then you realize that um oh yeah people really enjoy this and then you're just starting to ask yourself ah should i uh should i just should i just focus on this thing should i just keep making more videos like this maybe i can make 10 over 10 other videos that are similar to this maybe that way people will watch see you can even make the 10 other videos that are similar to that and you still will not even hit hit the success that that first video hit right or what happens when you make a video and then it's like a different target audience but like your subsequent videos are not the same target audience and then you realize that the bulk of your subscribers on your channel come from that video what are you supposed to do are you supposed to serve the subscribers or are you supposed to you know keep at it and know that and come to terms and make peace with the fact that you know that you're going to lose these subscribers but you're probably going to gain more <laughs> but it's going to be difficult to gain more because you will probably need to have another video that goes viral that people would come through it's a lot of mental gymnastics it's a lot of mental gymnastics guys don't do it <laughs> i think that the most honest answer to should i start a youtube channel that i've seen was on Quora, where the person said don't do it like youtube is hard the question is is it really worth it for the first year probably not except you are one of the lucky ones for the second year even so probably not because the energy will still not match the returns but it's like a long-term investment it's like a long-term investment thing at least that's what people say right so that means that i'm supposed to go through all this frustration all this anger all this 
feeling that I'm wasting my time that I have to do this for one year perhaps another year before I start seeing returns there's also there's also the monetization policy thing right because this monetization policy thing you need to get your 4,000 watch hours you need to get a uh, thousand subscribers within a year so you can do everything and do everything and do everything within one year if you don't get your 4,000 hours within a year yeah done for that year they have to start another year all over again it's god guys i'm at the brink of quitting but i told myself that you see this youtube thing we die here <laughs> we die here and i have decided that you know views would be nice subscriber counts would be nice but i'm just going to do my thing i'm just going to do me i'm just going to make videos that i want to make i'm just going to be my real self and if anybody you know it's that if anybody is attracted to my real self then of course come along but if you can relate to anything that i said in this video <laughs> please let me know i would really want to know that i'm not alone right tell me that i'm not alone tell me that it's not just me tell me anyway if you talk to the end of this rant i am giving you a lot of credits and I want to appreciate you for enduring till the end. I think that this is where I'm going to start. Or, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think that this is where I'm going to end. So if anybody has a question, should I start my YouTube channel? <laughs> um, well, yeah, you probably should. Ignore everything I said. You probably should. They say it's rewarding. I've not got to the point where I can tell you that. You know, at the end of the day, it's rewarding. But hopefully, Hopefully, it will get to that point and I'll come back to tell you guys that. So remember that video that I made? Oh, yes, that. I'm back here to tell you that. Oh, yeah, it finally became rewarding and I am seeing the result of my actions or the result of my hard work. Yeah, till then, I wish you all the best while you start your YouTube channel. Or better still, save yourself the heartache and don't start. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Um. <laughs> anyway, if you want to support me, if you watch this video and you like it, like it. Please don't dislike it. <laughs> and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Yeah, help me. Help me not quit YouTube. I need you. I need you to remain on this platform. I need you to give me the motivation that I need. I need you to support me. I don't know who you are, but I want to know who you are. And if you follow me and you subscribe to me and you comment, I would love to get to know you. I'm actually a nice person outside YouTube. I'm fun. People like me outside YouTube. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I guess this is it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.